Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to troubleshoot network adapter problems on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by right clicking on the Windows Start button, and you want to select Settings, so go ahead and left click on that. You want to select System on the left side, and then on the right side you want to scroll down underneath troubleshoot go ahead and left click on that on the right side again select other troubleshooters go ahead now on the right side underneath other and go down and select network adapter and select run if your network adapter was turned off for example this utility should be able to resolve that So our adapter is already working properly, so that's why I couldn't identify a problem. But hopefully in your case, it should have resolved the issue. Something else you can try here too would be to open up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. Select yes if you receive a user account control prompt. And now you want to go type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash off front. So again, IPCONFIG space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go type in NETSH space WINSOCK WINSOCK space reset. Again, exactly how it appears on my computer here. Go ahead and hit enter. So, should say successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Close out of here and restart your computer. One further thing we can try here would be to right click on the Windows Start button and select Settings. Network and Internet on the left side. And then on the right side you want to go ahead and select Advanced Network Settings and go ahead and left click on that. On the right side underneath More Settings go ahead and select Network Reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. So. And this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. So you want to make sure you have your Wi-Fi code nearby if you're using a wireless connection, because once we select the Reset Now button, we're going to have to go restart our computer, and you will have to enter in your Wi-Fi credentials once your computer restarts. So go ahead and select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select yes. So you will need to sign out within five minutes. So go ahead and close out of here and let's restart our computer.
And there we go, guys. Should be as simple as that. So hopefully now if you try and connect to your internet, once you type in your Wi-Fi credentials, if you get a little pop-up for that, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward fix. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.